why can't you rank up? In this video, I'm going to answer that question. The main reason is you're lacking understanding in multiple aspects of the game. That's just not you, that's Radiance, pros, everyone's lacking understanding. I'm going to cover the most common reasons that you're not ranking up, as well as hopefully teach you a new thought process that you will be able to use to help yourself improve more quickly, understand what you're doing wrong, and understand what you're doing right. Because if your heart's stuck, then you're probably repeating the same things over and over, not understanding what you're doing right, not understanding what you're doing wrong. So you're going to have issues evolving your game and adapting and doing things better. So the, obje the objective of attack at PS like Valorant is to create the most favorable fights that you can. If you're just dry swinging everything, then every fight's a 50-50, then it's a coin flip. Then the outcome of your duels and your matches and your games are going to be coin flips. And your rank's going to fluctuate greatly depending on if you're hitting your shots or not. And the only common denominator in each of your rank games is you. Obviously you could come to your teammates and sometimes you're going to get bad teammates, sometimes you're going to be the bad teammate. Over over a variance of a couple hundred games, that's going to even out. You're not going to matter. The, the bad teammates are sometimes going to be on the enemy team. Sometimes they're going to be on your team. And this is this is not a valid reason for being hard stuck. So first, you have to park your ego at the door. If you really want to improve, you got to sit down and not blame your teammates and other variables that may be out of your control. So here, the tips improve quick. When you die, you have to be objective about your death. What did you do wrong? What could you have done better? Uh, what was in your control? What was out of your control? Could you have positioned better? Could you have asked your teammates for utility to team play with you? Did you go in by yourself? So there's each round has infinite variables and infinite situations that you have to consider. This comes with experience, but experience isn't just playing the game and blindly going through these rounds because that's probably what you've been doing and why you're not improving. Just because a play you made worked and won your team the round doesn't mean it was the right play. And similarly, just because you made a play and you died and you lost your team around doesn't mean you were making the wrong play. So how do you know if something's a good play or a bad play? So you want to simulate the scenario, the round, or the play you made in your head a hundred times. Out of a hundred times, what's the favorable outcome? Does it win you the round or increase your chance of winning the round 80 out of a hundred times? And this is a great play. 80% of the time you're going to be greatly increasing your odds of winning the round and then say if you run in your head 100 times and you see a favorite outcome 20 to 40 out of 100 times then this is a bad play if your rank is fluctuating over 200 plus rr then your play style is inconsistent and if you want to rank up you need a consistent play style you're probably taking a lot of 50 50 aim duels which are coin flip fights and depending on if you're hitting your shots or not then your rank is going to go up or down and that's not to say aim doesn't matter Aim, like, aim matters but for example for me i'm blind in one eye right so my mechanics are worse than 99 percent of radiance and my aim is worse than even a lot of immortals and ascendants yet i'm still rating every single act and that's just due to my decision making my comms my util usage and just overall understanding of the game so if you want to improve and rank up quickly you have to improve your game sense and do that you have to think about the game you can't just autopilot all the time back to the topic of aim does aim matter of course aim matters like i'm not gonna be demon one right and faster i mean uh, you could look at dazzler he he got to radiant using a judge and a controller is, is that mechanical skill no right like he just had good decision making positioning knew how to close gaps and uh get important kills that increased his team's chance of winning rounds does aim training help yes aim training does help it makes you more consistent it makes sure you get the kills that you should get and maybe some of the kills that majority of the time that you wouldn't get or like hard shots you'll also hit so it can increase your odds of winning some rounds think more when you play the game think more when you play the game especially when you die especially when you die what could you have done differently coordinate more with your teammates if you have any specific questions that isn't how do i get out of x rank because there is no action answer to this question except for like you have to improve right to get out of any rank you have to improve but if you have specific questions of scenarios and games or how to use utility i can do a video on utility when to use util when to trade util what's good util value yeah any questions you have underneath the video I'll, I'll answer and i do stream every day so if you come to my stream i can answer questions there you could watch me and analyze my decision making another good way to improve is watching players who are better than you and what you want to do is uh predict what they're going to do 
predict what play they're going to make, what util they're going to use, and see if you get it right. And if you get it wrong, think to yourself, why did they do that? And if they're high rating or pro, they're probably doing the right thing the majority of the time. So if you get it wrong, then you're probably wrong and you should try and think why they did it. But the sh there are going to be times where Radiance, me, or pros are going to be making mistakes. And maybe you may have actually thought for it, but that's unlikely because you're probably like bronze or silver or something or gold or plat. So you're probably so you're probably wrong. Just assume you're wrong just for the sake of improving until you get to Radiant and then you could uh, have a deeper understanding of the game. And then maybe you could analyze the situation more deeply and see where they could have min maxed their utility or their gameplay. OK, now I'm just yapping. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave it underneath. Again, I stream every night if you guys want to follow. And yeah, hopefully rank up. I kind of yapped a lot. I'm gonna try, try. I'll try and cut it down. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys.